Hello, everyone, and welcome again to this week's edition of the Darren Newman Dialogues. Good to be back with you today. Good to be um, with you wherever you are, in the car, at home, at work, wherever you're finding time to uh, steal a few minutes away and enjoy the dialogues and the engagement, the conversation that we have here uh, week after week. We love having you here. Love being a part of your life. Love that uh, you can hear and be a part of this discussion um, in a virtual world, it's difficult sometimes to have uh, dialogues and connections that we like to have, the human touch, the human interaction. Um, it's sometimes limited in our virtual society. But with uh, technology like this, today we get to come to you wherever you are and be a part of your life. We thank you for carving out some time today. If you're watching by YouTube or by podcast uh, on audio, um, make sure that you um, hit those like buttons and subscribe and make sure that you're connected to us so that you can hear when a new um, episode is released and you can be a part of the next uh, dialogue that we have together. So good to be with you again today, Dr. Newman, and hey, I'm, good excited. To be with I'm, you, I'm especially excited today, a little yeah. extra excitement today. Feeling I think. good, yeah, feeling we're good. feeling good. Yeah. We had a great conversation before we came on, and it's, it's, a, it's a good day, it's a beautiful day. It's, I think so. It, it's, it's a new day, it's, it's calling us onward, calling us forward, um, uh, no matter the changes we we're going to face, we're going to make our way through them, and and they're going to be good changes. It's going to be that old line, you know, where where God uh, shuts the door, He opens the window. Or yeah. I like to think of it the other way. It's it's actually better when God shuts the window, He opens the whole door. <laughs> That's right. That's uh, right. That's like right. I kind of like to reverse that. Um, <laughs> it, it's been a lot of uh, there's a lot of times I believe that we just don't think that we can do anything anymore. I, I know we were talking right before we came on, uh, started making the broadcast here. We were talking about how that, um, as I was sharing it, and I want to share it with everybody, the, the idea of uh, thank you, but no thanks, right? Thank you, but no thanks. And I think uh, if to explain that, it's, it's like... A lot of times in life, no matter what you're facing, you could be at anything, doing anything. It could be a job, a relationship, anything. And uh, many people uh, find what I call that thank you, but it's like it, it might go on a time, you know, that we're really, really charged up and we're, we're, uh, we're we think we're riding it high now. And then we get the message. Thank you for all of that, but no thanks, <laughs> you know, and then yeah. now I've got to change and that could come from a job. It could come from a relationship. It could come from a whole lot of other sources is thank you. But, and I'm thinking, man, how can we, um, how can we take the, the strength uh, within us that is within us to face that challenge, to face that change and, and to, go through that and to move through that and to get better on the other side. Isn't that the whole thing about humanity? You know, it's, 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 we never, we never got satisfied with the valley. We, we always wanted to go up to that mountaintop, see what's lying out there. You know, mm -hmm. if we just got satisfied with the valley, if we'd been like this as humanity, as, as a species, we would still be, you know, stuck away trying to eat nuts and berries, I guess. We wouldn't even have fire. We wouldn't have built anything. We wouldn't have done anything with, with ourselves. But yet, you know, we built our fires. And that fire is a, is a, is, is a beautiful metaphor for what lies within us. Mm -hmm. That fire that says, you know, sometimes it might go down and ebb low, but it needs to come back. Yeah. And, and I, I wanted to share today, I wanted to go back on something that, that I have been assuming, but I wanted to lay some groundwork back again. It's like sometimes you got to go back and, and make sure that that foundation is strong because you're thinking, did I lay that right? So you're going back and you're going to well, check, check a foundation here. And, and it all came to mind I was teaching recently and a student who had faced a uh, tragedy in their lives and the loss of a loved one. And they said to me, what can I do to come back? 
And that was an interesting question because most people would have said, well, I'm not sure. You're going to have to, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm not sure that you can get back <laughs> or something. But I felt moved in my heart, which I, you know, it, it comes from my calling as a minister. It, it uh, uh, my calling to ministry, my, my calling as a teacher, as a professor, a calling as even the art that I do, that there's never a time that you should offer that, that negativity, that no, like, there's nothing you can do about this now, you know, I mean, there's nothing, I mean, it, it's already late in the past, forget about it, you know, just whatever, and I wanted to go back on something about the, the interesting meaning, and it sounds really academic, but I wanted to move it out of there, um, because on later conversation with that same individual, they said that what they were learning is that they, it was in a philosophy course that what they were learning is that philosophy is not an academic discipline. It is a, it is a way of life. It's, it's, it, it's, it's a look at life. And, and I want to, I want to go back to that cornerstone that we've always been a part, you know, wonder, wisdom, and the wild. Well, wisdom is that philosophical part. Um, inspirational, the wonder comes by just the human spirit. It comes from my work in ministry too, that, that sense of wonder and all, but the, the wisdom part is the philosophical part. Um, and, and, and when I started thinking about that, it, it's like, go back to the beginning and come forward again, like go back enough that you can point out the cornerstone again and then come forward. I mean, sometimes you just I don't know how to explain that except by saying sometimes we just have to run back a little bit, just go back mm -hmm. in order to go forward again. Like we're stuck. So you go to go back, flashback in your mind, go back to your basics, go back, go back, get hold of that fire again. That was yours. And now come on, see it. If you don't, you'll get, you'll get stuck in the thank you, bud. <laughs> right. Thank yeah. you. But right. Yeah. You got to go back to your beginning and then it's almost like you got to go back in order to go forward. If, if that's, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? That, you know, that's the reason that people will go back to uh, they'll flash back to like how it was, uh, how it was when they first started, how it was when they were young with that fire and that ambition, because that was you there. That wasn't anybody else. And, and you're, you're still the same. You're still that same individual that started with that fire that started you out. So when the thank you buck comes, just, just cast that aside because those are the people that are going to try to drag that down, drag you down, or it's going to be a situation that it's going to attempt to drag you down and like leave you stuck wherever you are. No, go back. Now come forward. So it's kind of an odd, odd thought there. I hope that everybody understands that. It's it, it, it's just something that's coming to me as I'm thinking about this. Go back to that fire, like run back to the fire, get yourself warm again, get get warmed up inside, get that fire back. Now come at it. You can have your time, you know, sadness, you know, thinking about what you gotta do, but you gotta you gotta move forward. But sometimes the only way you can move forward is to go back and remember where you what you were like when you first began that's kind of interesting isn't it yeah isn't that a celebration when we when we have those that we love you know that are still with us there's many times that we'll go back to the places that that made us alive right that made us yes. like yeah see it yes and you I recapture that. that fire isn't that good it is that's, good. that's like yeah yeah it's sometimes, like, sometimes yeah, i think on. we have to go back to the place where um you know, where we were inspired or where we, where we got mm. a, a word or a moment or an insp inspiration. Sometimes we got to go back, maybe not physically to that spot, although sometimes maybe physically to mm. the spot where, mm. you know, that you had that moment in time. I love that story in, in the Bible in Kings where Elisha was, um, uh, there was a man who was working and uh, an ax head fell off the handle of the ax and he mm -hmm. went to Elisha and said, I cannot, I, I cannot work. I cannot go forward. I cannot do this. And if I remember the story right, mm -hmm. Elisha asked the question, 
where did it fall? Where did you lose it? Where, where did the axe, where, yes. where, where fell it? I think is how the, the, mm-hmm. the King James mm-hmm. says it. And so we took him back to where that axe head was. And sometimes we got to go back where we dropped it, go back I to where that. we, where we, where we missed it, where we, um, where we were defeated for a moment or, uh, and sometimes we've got a shore up there. I love that. I love that we can go back and we can rebuild the foundations or, mm-hmm. or shore up the foundations, or maybe even realize that we built in a wrong spot and we're just, sell it off and go, go build, you know, something new. The <laughs> options are many, are they not for us to yes. start over oh. or to repair or to begin again? Oh yeah. 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 It's, it's going back. I, I love how you said that uh, in quoting, in quoting the uh, scripture there, um, you know, where, where did it, where did it fall? Where go back to it, mm-hmm. go, get it, get it back in your hand again. Yes. You know, go go back to that and, and feel that that you're still that you're still there. Right? Yes. That's a beautiful thought. You're still there. So that's that's not someone that is different. It's just someone who has been um through a path and what you've got to do, um, you reach back into that. Now let's go forward again. Let's let's go on to that dream that you got. That that really moves me a lot, and I think that's that's very much a part of what what I wanted to share today. Because I think I went. Sometimes you can just go so fast, and and you think that everything's all put in place, and then you got to go back and you think, where did I leave it? <laughs> where did so I'm going to go back a little bit. So let me start with a beautiful word called philosophy. And a lot of people misconstrue this word. And I'm going to be honest with you. I heard it recently in a class another time. And they said that it was like philosophy is just this academic discipline. This actually came from uh, uh, actually a student who was told by a uh, uh, one of their uh, instructors in a high school uh, because they were in high school taking one of the courses and they said that it was said to them, don't take that course because all they do is argue. <laughs> and I thought, Forgive my for saying so. That's a, that's a stupid. <laughs> that is a stupid definition of philosophy if I've ever heard it. That, that what all we do is just argue. That's that's not even meaning. That's not even getting. You don't even know the foundation, man. You know, it's like yeah. you you, yeah. you 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 like you're going forward here. You've got to go back. Let me take you back. I almost want to say that person, let me take you back and let me show you the real cornerstone here. Cause I mean, you're, you've messed this up. So that cornerstone of philosophy, the reason it's so meaningful, the reason I've always said that everybody needs to have this as a part of their life is because here's the meaning of the word. It means the love of wisdom, the love of wisdom. That's all it means. The love of wisdom. Now that that has turned into, and I, I'm 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 not, you know, we're not foolish. We know how that has turned into an academic discipline, and that most people that study it are in a university classroom. But I want to offer this out to whoever is listening to us. I don't care if you've ever darkened the door of a college classroom. I don't care. You you and I were born philosophers because. We, we want wisdom in our lives, but we want more than, we actually want something more than wisdom. Wisdom is actually a tool to get to where we want to go, and that is to greatness, to excellence in life, to a, to a, ha- to a life that is happy, fulfilled. That's what the, the ancients called the, they call it happiness. It's that, um, it's that Greek word eudaimonia or eudaimonia, as some people would say it, or however you say it. I, you know, I'm not a, 
I'm not uh, always a, um, a um, you know, a stickler on how you say the words as much as I want you to know the meaning. The meaning of that is a very powerful thing. And, and this, this brings up a point I'm going to share. The meaning of eudaimonia means fulfillment. It means happiness. It means a sense of fulfillment in my life, a sense that I'm living out my destiny. I'm living out my calling. I, I'm, I'm there. I'm moving forward, right? I've got the foundations. I, I've gone back. And I need to go back sometimes to those foundations, to that calling, to that fire that is within me to give me that charge again. But even the, the meaning of that term, philosophy, it's just simply a word that the ancient Greeks, and some people think it was Pythagoras who came up with it, all he did, and or they did, whichever the case may be, they just put a word to what humans have been doing from day one. Right, the time that we felt the first fire within our souls that we want to live with greatness. I mean, with freedom, with understanding, with courage, with beauty, with truth, with goodness, with all of those things, even before they're, they are words, their feelings, their drives within the human spirit, yeah. before we could ever write them down. You know, I mean... That's what I want people to understand. It's not like we're doing something kind of making something academic to be applicable to life or something. I don't know. I mean, that's all right, I guess, but that's not my thing. My thing is to figure out how I, how I should live. And, and I want to live greatly. I don't want to look back on my life and think, you know, I'm not fulfilled. I'm yeah. not happy. I don't have any fire with him, man. I've I've had so many thank you buts in my life. I just don't know what to do. Yeah. You know, I don't want to live like that. And 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 nor will I. Right. Nor will I, and nor should I. And nor should you, nor should anybody, nor should anybody listening. You should never take that thank you butt and let it drive down to the ground and just like you don't know what in the world's going on. Of course you know what's going on. Come on. Yeah. Come on, you're a human being now. Let's stand up. Let's get this thing on. Yeah. Let's honor nature. Let's honor our 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 fellow our 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 fellow creatures of the wild. Let's take that spirit that makes us who we are, and let's let's live with a with a greatness. So that's why I wanted first to talk about the meaning of philosophy for one's life like what that is even talking about and i want to state that one more time it means the love of wisdom but if you take it from me it means the application of that wisdom unto greatness and that's where we want to be now however you can define greatness you can you can talk about it in a lot of different ways but you're always going to come up with these same themes of of a fulfilled life, of a good life, of a kind life, of one that reaches out, but also reaches within, all of these things, all of these ways. Just like you said, you know, go back to that fire, that calling that made you good, right? Yes. It, it's yes. all we're trying to do. Yes. And, and, and I wanted to clear that up. Um, is, that, is that understandable? It is. And I like the way you, and, and you didn't emphasize this, but I heard it when you talk about the love of wisdom and you talk about embracing that wisdom being knowledge, experience, things that we have gathered in this life. And sometimes over time, not yeah. that a young person cannot be wise because they certainly can, but mm -hmm. you get wiser and more knowledgeable, the more time you spend in life and you, mm -hmm. and, and you, because you have more experiences and you said to live with, you said it really quick. You didn't really uh, emphasize it, but I, I, I heard it because that's where I went. Live with the knowledge, live with the experience, mm -hmm. not just mm -hmm. have it, but live with it. The word live, yeah. you know, the story about the old saying where people climb to the mountain to talk to the old man on top of the mountain, to get a word of wisdom, to get a word of advice. I don't know where that story came from, but talked about climb up, talk to the guru you know, go to the mountain okay. and find the, the wise man who can give you, uh -huh. I always felt sorry for the man on the mountain because 
he's not living. He's just a resource <laughs> at the top of the mountain. Yes. So yes. I want to live with the experiences and the knowledge and the ideas that I have gathered through my life. I want to, I want to apply them to my life. I want to make them real. I want to pass them on. And like you said, success doesn't necessarily mean a million dollars in the bank or a great wealthy, uh, you know, uh, right. you know, right. something, uh, you know, great. And, and the way the eyes of the, of, of most of the world may see success, success could be a great, being a great father, being a great husband, being, being a great community leader, being a great, whatever it is, success, like you said, can be defined by us individually as to what yes. we are successful for. But what I heard was the word live live with these things that's yeah. a, that's a that's a responsibility we must take for ourselves to not just exist to not just have this knowledge or information but right. to live with it yes that's beautiful that's beautiful thank you for sharing that that idea that idea of the of, of living with that you know when you were talking about the as those old stories have it the 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 person at the top of the mountain, you know, and they always go up. Yeah. It, and, and I love how you said that, like, like it, it's, it's climbing up the mountain. You almost want the person to say, well, I'm getting ready to leave. Uh, yes. <laughs> you know, I need to go to that next mountain. Yes. What about? I'll let's be down in a moment. Here. I'm leaving the yeah. mountain. I'll be down in the valley shortly. I'll just yeah, ask yeah. you there. No, I'm going to have to go through a thank you, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming. But, yes. uh, right. <laughs> but that's funny. The <laughs> that that whole idea of of that experience of life. That's really what we're about. That's that's wisdom. It, it you have to live live through it. I mean, you Epicurus, one of my favorite philosophers, called it. He said you should never you should never get away from the study of philosophy. Again, this mean this love of wisdom, uh, uh, greatness, because. Don't ever think that you are too young or don't think you're too old to learn from it. Because, and this is a wonderful line he offers, and he wrote this in a letter to his friend, actually. Uh, Epicurus wrote this in, to his friend, Menachaeus. And, um, and so when he, when he says that, that it, you're never too old or too young because it's you're you're never too old or young to learn about the well-being of the soul. Mm -hmm. And the word soul there actually is a double meaning. We have two words, mind and soul, in, in the English vernacular, but to to the ancient Greeks, that word psuche that they use, it means both the mind and the soul is the inner person, you know, that, that driver. Yeah. Right? So it's, it's never, you're never too young. You're never too old to care for that, for you, mm -hmm. for your drive, for you, for you. It's there. It is right there. See it. Let's yeah. learn about this. So whatever is wisdom, whatever is, as you were saying, whatever is knowledgeable, whatever gives me insight, whatever gives me beautiful days, good actions, uh, truthful, uh, truthful knowledge that I can use and courage. See, that's, that's all wisdom. That's all what we're trying to do. It's all we're trying to make happen because if we have those, and, and this is the last quote I wanted to offer, and it, and it actually is in the same paragraph. He says, for if we have, for if we have happiness, if we have fulfillment, we have everything. But if we lack it, we do everything in order to gain it. Let me repeat that because that's so beautiful to me. It gets to me every time. So he's talking about the well-being of the soul brings you happiness, fulfillment. It brings you that sense of the quest, right? Of greatness. And you're fulfilled in that quest. You're fulfilled in your calling because you know yourself. You know your calling. It's all there. 
within sight of you. And when you have that sense of fulfillment, you have everything that this life offers. But if you lack it, you do everything in order to gain it. Mm -hmm. So thus, you can see the people that wander, see that they, they, they try to get their fame, their, their wealth, as you were mentioning. It's not, it's not the money, but they'll try to cover it with the money or with the looks, with, with influence, with something, with power, with anything that, that, that makes them feel like, I guess that they're doing something with their life. Not that these are wrong in and of themselves or, or how they could help people. But if they're just turned to the inside to make you feel like you've done something in your life, it's never going to be enough. You've got to have somehow that drive. You remember the back to that cornerstone, that drive that was you before all of the thank you buts occurred, <laughs> before all of the stuff occurred, before all those valley times, before all of that which sucked away that life force within us. And that's what we're trying to preserve. It's what we're trying to get back. It's what we're trying to give. And, and that's what I, it's, that's the reason I, I love teaching philosophy because I love teaching about how can we become great. And I'm not yet there. Like Socrates, I'll say, I don't, I don't know anything about this, right? I'm still yeah. learning. I'm still the student. I'm still the one. I'm never the one behind the lectern or behind the desk. I'm still the one. Uh, you remember those classrooms that we'd always, always have to sit in like a little desk when we were in elementary school. That's where I am. And, you know, I'm, I'm back in there someplace. Yeah. I'm still not there yet. I'm like that guy that's on top of the hill. I'm ready to go. Let's, now that you guys are here, you can help me out. I've got this still yet to do. I haven't sat down yet. And I, and I love that attitude. You know, the wisest of the wise, Socrates. You know, he was counted yes. the wisest, you know. And Steve Jobs says that wonderful that wonderful quote that I've repeated, I know on several times, and I, I'm sure I've repeated it uh, here, here with everybody that's listening, but he said he would trade all of his technology for an afternoon with Socrates. And I love that. He said that way back in 2001 in a Newsweek article, when they were talking about education for the future. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. 2001, 20 years ago, over 20 years ago, he said those words in a Newsweek article, and it's just pocketed in, it's just in this one little line in the whole article, and it just, it just rages outward, like, wow, where did that come from? And that's, again, if you think about, it's almost going back to the foundation, and it's going back to that cornerstone. I trade it all. I trade all of this stuff that I've been through to go back to the beginning of where it all started to give me that fire again. See it? Yeah. There it is. I think that that's one meaning you could take it. And I don't pretend to, to talk about it or to know all of the meanings of that. But I do know that there's something there that's very, so very beautiful and powerful. So it, so, so philosophy is the meaning of it is the love of wisdom, but the meaning, the meaning um, you could say, um, in, in life for me is that I have that happiness, that sense of fulfillment, that sense of greatness, that fire, that I can do this better. I mean, um, I can get through this. Yes, I can get through this. Isn't that a beautiful phrase to give to people yeah. that are so sad today? You can get through this. We're here to help. We can help as much as we possibly can. And we want to help because you need, you might need some help. But part of the thought is that that answer already lies within you. All we're doing is fanning the flame that is already there. We're not putting you, we're not giving you the flame. We're not giving you the fire. Yeah. We're just reminding you of it. Yeah. Let me say that one more time because that's blessing my heart. <laughs> and coming back from my old preacher days, I've got to, I've got to say that again right i'm not giving it to you i'm reminding you of it i i want everybody to know that you are a very powerful individual because you are human mm -hmm. 
uh, you are a powerful, powerful um, thing. <laughs> You're a powerful creature. You have a mind. You have a soul. You have a body that can do amazing things, just like every other creature of the world. But you have to remember who you are. right? You have to remember that wisdom that lies within you. And that all we're doing, and I'm going to repeat Socrates here, he always had that concept that that, that that already is within you. So you remember back to your story when you were telling about from, from the Bible where he was told to go back and figure out where you left it, right? See, that it's like he forgot about that 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 had made him great or had had enabled him or empowered him to do the work that he did so it's a reminder it's kind of like let's go back and figure out where we left that yes. so when socrates says that the truth lies within you right you just have to remember where it's at yeah. right yeah. Go back to that. Yes. Now let's go forward. Because nothing out here is going to give that to you. That was that's back at the beginning. That was already there. So you go back and figure out where you lost track of that. But see, that's again, you got to go back inside of yourself. You've got to go. You got to go inside, see the meaning for you, how, how we're going to do this, because that strength, that answer is there. Um, words of Plotinus, um, bring back the God in you to the God in the all. That was a famous line by Plotinus. He was Neoplatonist. Bring back the God in you the fire in you, the soul in you, the God in you, the divine spark in you to the divine in the all, right? Bring that back. Bring that back. Put that back. Quit listening to the thank you buts that are going to drive you down to the ground. Yeah. I hope that's understandable for everybody. I hope that's, that's speaking to me today yes. on all of the challenges. Yes. The, the, the last thing I would say in this, in, in, in the meaning of philosophy and the meaning for my life, of course, because it's, it's wisdom, it's, it, it's this using it to greatness, uh, figuring out the things that make sense, that, that get me away from those times that I've been driven down and not, not believing in myself, um, not, not, not embracing those challenges to to take me on to the next to the next pathways and i know it is tough i know the tears will flow they've 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 been on my cheeks as well not to be uh so so um so descriptive of that but we've all had broken hearts right but those are what makes us wise and that makes us to have not only a, a meaning of philosophy and a, and a meaning in my life, it's a, it's a meaning for my life that I can reach out. And that's what we're doing. We're reaching out. We can help others to achieve greatness by reminding them of, of what we've been through, but, but to show them all that fire that, that is that cornerstone, that drive, that challenging way. And I know that sounds so a bit platitude, you know, you can get into a, I remember a preacher one time said to me in England, he said, it's just, it's just platitudes, it's just platitudes. And what he meant by that was it's just these sayings that people have, have heard so often that it means nothing. Mm -hmm. right? it, it doesn't have any sharpness to it, but that, that sense of of working out through that challenging time how you're going to how you're going to go 
that that old truth that those challenges which seem to break your heart or put you back the thank you buts those are all those stirrings to move you forward um Aeschylus is lying. Truth comes only with pain. Isn't that a striking one? You'll never do, you never will know the truth unless you go through the pain. Again, unless you have that sacrifice, will you ever have that truth and that beauty and that goodness that you seek? So it's all there. I, I wanted to go back on that. that that's kind of, I wanted to lay the groundwork once again. I, I wanted to remind everybody what we're talking about here. Um, we're moving forward with that. We're, we're achieving greatness through what we're learning, but it's up to us to embrace that. So you got two choices, and this is the last thing I'm going to offer. You got two choices. Let me go back to my thank you, but, right? Thank you, but no thanks. That can come in the letter. That can come in the letter uh, that you tried to get the, the job that you thought would be your dream job and you've given a letter, thank you, but we've hired somebody else. So it's thank you, but no thanks. It's in that relationship that you had for years and they finally said at the end of it, thank you, but no thank you. It's in the, it's in the, um, it's in the opportunities. It's in life. It's, 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 it's thank you, but no thank you. It, it's like, I don't know. It's, it's kind of like that rejection, that rejection. So you, you got two choices. You can let them, let that person or let that situation dictate your fire, like your cornerstone, where you started. And like say, this has all been meaningless for you, hasn't it? This, this, let them have that call and they will tell you that this is, I don't know, I don't know what you, I just, it's all a wash. It's all a washout, aren't, isn't it? Or you can listen to the God within you, the fire that God has put within you, the calling that you have, the passion that you have, not only as a, not only in your experiences, but just simply you're a human being. And you let that be your destiny. You answer that with, yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm going on to this next mountain. So, yeah, it, it, it didn't work out here, but so what? I've learned I've learned what I can, and now I'm moving ever more positively and ever more on my way towards that fulfillment and, and towards that greatness because I'm a philosopher. I'm a lover of greatness. I'm a lover of wisdom. That's who I am. That's where I'll be. Wow. There it is. So it's already in you. It's already a part of your life. Yes, Yes, the greatness, absolutely. the success, the goodness, it's all there. Maybe you've forgotten it. Maybe mm -hmm. it's life has beaten it out of you. Maybe you dropped it. Maybe you're weary, you're tired. This, I hope today was a flint stone that just had a spark back into your life to reignite what God has given you and the greatness. Man, I'll tell you, today is a it's a good day on, on the dialogues. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about what life can be. Wisdom is not a verb, but maybe it should be, um, you know, spend mm -hmm. some time today. Wisdom, I like that. Wisdoming. <laughs> spend some time. Today, yeah. I like know, that. Wisdom is a verb. Applying wisdom to your life, all the greatness. That's and knowledge a good, and, and it's a good line. I love yeah, that. Yeah. I love that. I I, uh, wisdom is a verb. It can be that, that that ought to be marketed, my friend. Thank you for that. <laughs> we'll make a t-shirt. That, that's <laughs> what's that? I'm sorry. We'll make a t-shirt for that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's good. I love that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to write that one down. Wisdom is a verb. That's perfect. Yeah, thank that you. It is perfectly said. I love that. Thank you for that. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Dr. Newman, for for your for your kindness to people, your love for people, your love for all things, wild wisdom. 
and wonder. Thank you for just reminding us every single week about the goodness that we can embrace and find again in life. And it's just very, very exciting. So I would encourage you if you're watching or listening today, do reach out. If you have questions, you have thoughts, you have feedback, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Um, please be a part of the dialogue, the engagement, and uh, the conversation here. Um, any final thoughts, Dr. Newman? I don't want to cut you off too short. I know sometimes- No, you you're fine. You're fine. But, uh, I, I, I think you said it best, and I'm going to let you take that. I'm, All right. I'm going to give the ball to you on that one. <laughs> wisdom is a verb. I couldn't have said that. That is, <laughs> that is of God. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll let that stand, and I couldn't have said it any better, nor, nor will I. Um, you, you are- you are growing you you're going to be okay yes. stick with it um don't don't let it drive you down remember that you're still on that track you're still moving forward wisdom is the verb that you need to live out today mm -hmm. and live it out that's Absolutely. good it's beautiful Absolutely. thank you for that. go about your day today being humble kind Listen to that song by Tim McGraw if you want today. It's a really good inspiration. <laughs> um, but go out into the world and embrace the things that you have. Thanks for watching. And we look forward to seeing you next time on the Darren Newman Dialogues. Make it beautiful, everyone. Thank you.